everybody. We are going to be looking at the next part of sentence analysis. And as you can see, the new thing is these beautiful orange arrows. Now, to be able to work on this lesson, you're going to need to have practiced your first sentence analysis lesson, and you're also going to have to know what an adverb is, okay? So if you're not sure what those things are, I recommend that you pause. If you need to practice this more, please practice this. And if you need to know what an adverb is, please go ahead and make sure you're practicing some form of grammar box, okay? Okay, so I have a sentence for you. The rock rolled down the hill. So remember, the first thing we're always looking for is a predicate, our action and our sentence. So in here, the rock rolled down the hill. What is our action? Rolled. So I'm gonna cut that out. I'm gonna put it here. The rock rolled down the hill. The predicate is rolled. Remember, this is the next question we always ask first. Who is it, what is it that rolled? What rolled? The rock. So now we have down the hill left. So remember, this is the next thing we usually ask. The rock rolled whom? The rock rolled what? The rock rolled down, down the hill doesn't really answer what, does it? Let's put this, this person or this little, let's put this arrow to the side. Now here we have some orange arrows that are gonna ask us some questions. So the rock rolled where? Does down the hill answer where? Yeah, actually it does. Isn't that convenient? So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it here. The rock rolled where? Down the hill. Now you notice there is no direct object in this sentence. Remember, that's okay. It just has to have a predicate and a subject, okay? This here, this where is telling us more about the rolled, isn't it? What kind of word tells us about verbs? Adverbs. So we call these you ready for this? Adverbial extensions. Where is the adverbial extension of place? Okay, so that's where. I'm gonna put this back. All right, let's do another one. I'm gonna reset. Oops. And I'm actually gonna do this. Give us a little bit more, a little bit more room. Okay, now. Jake baked a cake last Saturday. Oh, that makes me very happy because I really like cake. So what is the action, our predicate? Baked, that is the action that was taken. taken. I mean, he very well probably ate some cake last Saturday, but doesn't say that, does he? So predicate is baked, that's our action. And we always ask this question next. Who is it that baked? Why, Jake, Jake baked. Jake baked what? Oh, a cake. Put this here. So this sentence has a predicate, a subject, and a direct object. However, we aren't done, are we? Jake baked a cake last Saturday. So I want to see if any of our orange arrows answers that. How? Does it say how he baked the cake? Did he bake the cake in his pajamas? We don't know. By means of whom, by means of what? That's kind of a tricky one, isn't it? Well, it's not that one. Why? Does it say why he baked a cake? No, I mean, maybe he baked a cake for somebody's birthday or maybe he baked a cake just because he wanted to eat a cake. But it doesn't say, does it? So we don't know why. Where? We don't know where he baked the cake. No, we don't. What do we know? We know when he baked the cake. Let's see. What for? From what? from whom, by whom, by what, when. We know when he baked the cake. When did he bake the cake? Last Saturday, okay? Good. Let us do another one. Okay, I am reset. We have a little bit of a longer sentence, don't we? Yeah, we do. Marshall lost his phone at the zoo on Monday. So 
we need to figure out what our predicate is. What is the action? Lost. To lose something. Lost. Cool. I know we always ask this question next. Who is it that lost? Jake. Jake lost. Okay. Now let's try this one. Jake lost what? His phone. Jake lost his phone. Now we have at the zoo on Monday. So let's go to our orange arrows. Does it say how he lost his phone? No, it doesn't say that he dropped it in the monkey enclosure or, you know, dropped it somewhere walking. So no, none of these say how. What for? Uh, no, it doesn't say that he lost his phone for any particular reason. He just lost it. Why does it say that he lost it because he wasn't taking care of it? No, no. Where? Does it say where he lost his phone? Yeah, at the zoo. So I'm going to take where. All right, and we have on Monday. When? On Monday. So we have our predicate, our subject, our direct object. We have two, remember that crazy word? Adverbial extensions. We have an adverbial extension of place and an adverbial extension of time, okay? Time is when, place is where. Cool? All right, let's do another one. If this sentence is long. I don't think I'm gonna be able to fit it on the camera. Are you ready? I'm so super excited about it. Whew, here we go. Thousands of years ago, the ancient Egyptians constructed pyramids in Egypt that would hold their pharaohs. Whoa. That's a long sentence. I find it extremely exciting. So we need to find the predicate, all right? Thousands of years ago, the ancient Egyptians constructed pyramids in Egypt that would hold their pharaohs. So technically, you can see two different verbs in here. Okay, the word hold and constructed. And we have to pick the one that makes the most sense to be the main verb. Okay, so I'm going to tell you this one and we're going to take a look at why in a second. Constructed is the verb that we want. This is our predicate. Okay, and I'm gonna, when, after we do this one, I'm gonna tell you why. All right, constructed, predicate. Now I think these will both fit here in the camera so we can keep seeing them, yes. So we always ask this, who is it that constructed? Who constructed something in this sentence? The ancient Egyptians. Okay. So our subject is the ancient Egyptians. The ancient Egyptians constructed what? What did they construct? Pyramids. So we have a predicate, a subject, and a direct object so far. So we have thousands of years ago in Egypt that would hold their pharaohs. Okay, so let's start up here. The ancient Egyptians constructed pyramids how? Is it telling us how they did it? No, so it's not that one. The ancient Egyptians constructed pyramids what for? Does it tell us why they constructed them? Yeah, because that would hold their pharaohs. Let's try that. What for? That would hold their pharaohs, okay. Let's see now. The ancient Egyptians constructed pyramids that would hold their pharaohs thousands of years ago in Egypt. So, let's see, uh, why? Some would argue that would hold their pharaohs, but that's not quite right because 
This one is the adverbial extension of purpose. This is the purpose for the pyramids. Why is the cause? Okay, so building the pyramids didn't cause them to put pharaohs in there. It was the purpose. Putting pharaohs in the pyramids was the purpose for building them, or one of the purposes. So it's not why. We have the correct one down here, the what for. Where? Does it say where they built them? In Egypt. Do, 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 do. In Egypt. Oh my gosh, we still have another one. Jeez Louise. We still have another one. Thousands of years ago. When? So I'm going to put this here. I think you'll be able to see. Yeah, you'll still be able to see that. So I'm going to move this aside real quick so we can talk about what we're seeing here. Now, I have a question for you. Every single one of these arrows is coming from the same place. It's coming from the predicate. Now, I don't know if you remember, in primary, you would see that, uh, that one chart that had the red circle and all the orange arrows around it and the three black arrows. It's kind of like a sun. Everything radiates around the predicate. So if we had said hold, Okay, if we were looking at the verb of hold, thousands of years ago, the ancient Egyptians constructed pyramids that would hold their pharaohs. If this was, if we said this was our predicate, what is it that would hold the pyramids? Okay, pyramids would hold what? They're pharaohs. So if I said, um, where did they hold them? In Egypt, so that one works. If I asked, what, what for? The holding was done for what? Constructed that would thousands of years ago, the ancient Egyptians. What for? What was the holding for? None of these really answer that. I mean, if the sentence said the pyramids in Egypt held their pharaohs to protect them, that would be what for. Yeah. When was let's see, when was the holding? I mean, technically, yeah, thousands of years ago. But the ancient Egyptians, that's a who question. And we already did that. And the constructed, the holding never constructed anything. So that doesn't quite make sense. So that's why our predicate had to be constructed. Everything radi radiates off the predicate. And withhold being the predicate, we can't make everything radiate off of it. Okay, so you have to be careful that if, you know, sentences can have more than one act, action or verb in them, but they can only have one predicate. You can only have one part of the sentence that has everything radiate off of it. Okay, so I want you to watch out for that while you are, are working on this lesson. That if a sentence has more than two verbs, what's the main one? What's the one that everything is linked and connected to? Okay? All right. Um, this is where sentence analysis can get really interesting and sometimes tricky. I adore this lesson. I love this work. I think it's a lot of fun to have these conversations. And you know what? You know, when I, when I work on this lesson with you guys, if you have an argument as to why something should be a predicate and you're able to make it work, that's cool by me. A big part of learning in this lesson is trying different things. And that's what's really going to help you understand the function and the parts of these sentences. Okay? So we learned about adverbial extensions. Okay? If you need me, if you have any questions, just give me a shout and I'm there to help you. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.